Hi, I'm Mr. Drabi and I create card video content like this. And like this one. And how do you like it? If you like it, follow me on my Instagram. Today we are gonna make super crazy car distortion effect with super beauty Lexus LS 400. But before we start, make sure you subscribe my channel, like that video, if you like it, obviously. Without any further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. To begin, we need pre-edited clip with uh, music. I'm making the first cut, first edit in Premiere Pro because I'm familiar with that software. Also, I'm making the color grade because it's satisfying to watch on that beauty saturated shots during edit. Nobody likes uh, watching the raw footage on edits. Everybody just wants to, oh yes, yes, make the color grade and wow, this is beauty shot. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm color grading the footage and uh, I'm exporting footage in up Apple ProRes 4 to 2. In that codec you don't lose any quality in the video and also it's very easy for CPU to decode that footage that you can edit smoothly. We are gonna make that super spicy car distortion effect in Adobe After Effects and to start just land the Adobe After Effects, import the footage and first thing you need to do is to save your project because it's super easy to forget that you haven't saved the project and you can just finish the project and Adobe can just crash and you are you you need to make the edit one more time so command s or control s in windows to save it make sure you saved it in a proper place let me just go through my places and save it in the right it's ls400 it's ng S garage SFX like and next thing is to create the new comp from the selection to make the composition just press the right button and choose the new comp from the selection and here we are the next step is to duplicate that layer change the color whatever color you uh, you like I'm choosing the green one disabling the visual and locking the layer to make sure that I will I have the audio on my whole clip and on the first layer I'm disabling the audio I'm doing it because when you are going through the through the edit it's uh, easy to forget about disabling the audio on the layers and as you can see if you control D to duplicate it if you duplicate the layer the audio is also duplicating and these are stacking over and uh, yeah, you can end up with the super crazy high volume of the audio and better is to just disable it and forgot about it. Workflow, as you can see, is the default workflow. To make that workflow suits you, just as you can see, do you have that panel on the top side? It's default. If you want to see your composition on the right side, just drag the name of the composition to the right side and you can see that highly highlighted arrow just drag it, not arrow, but the area, just drag it and release the key, the button. And as you can see, you have it on your right side. Yeah. And it's easy to edit and see the effects in the vertical side. It's bigger. Another thing I changed in the After Effects is a shortcut for moving one frame forward and one frame backward. The default is a page up and page down and I changed it to the Q and W. Keep in mind to make that combination shift W to move 10 frames forward and same way for the Q. Also remember to use shortcuts. For the beginning is uh, not so easy to use it but when you get used to this shortcut work in After Effects is getting more satisfying and more pleasuring. Uh, so yeah, I'm showing you on my screen shortcuts and I also do my best to always telling you which shortcut I'm using. Please, please, please use shortcuts. We have our introduction to the After Effects and now we can start making our effect. Now we have to find the place when we will make the crazy distortion effect. Let's go through the footage and see the proper place. San Francisco, where is your disco?
Okay, I know the place. The first cut, the first effect we're gonna make right here on that super close up of the front and headlight. To begin, cut the layer. To cut the layer, press Command Shift D to cut and duplicate the layer. As you can see, in Windows it's Control and Alt is Option. And after we cut the layer, let's go to the end of the footage and just cut it on the first frame of the, of the next shot. To make that car distortion effect, you need to begin with the roto brush. Uh, roto brush is a super useful tool to fast mask and track the subject which you want to cut. We are gonna make the car distortion effect in the background, so we have to cut out the car, duplicate the layer to make it on top and between the background and the, our top shot with the car, we have to put there the distortion. And the distortion is our cutted car also, but with the effect. And let's now begin with the rotor brush, and after that uh, we'll go to the making the effect. So to start rotor brushing, let's duplicate our layer and make sure you are at the beginning of your shot and uh, double click on the layer, select the layer uh, highlighted as you can see and press tilde to enlarge the working area. Click that little guy with the brush to turn on the rotor brush and just drag around our subject to make the cut. And another thing to keep in mind is that when you just start making the rotor brush, go to the effects, press the select the rotor brush and change the quality to best. When you change the quality from standard to best, the rotor brush just uh, tracking better the footage and you don't uh, need to make so many corrections uh, with it. So we have uh, selected it, let's enlarge, let's go back again to the uh, footage. Make sure also to choose your quality to full to see all the details in your shot and let's go back, enlarge it, press dot or comma to zoom or zoom out from the, the working area. Also, when you are pressing space, as you can see, there is a little handle. When you press the left mouse button, you can just move around in the, in the area. Okay, so as we can see, we have here some roto brush to correct. Here some correction. You have some glow here. Yeah, and let's make it and take your time. If you want to erase something, just hold option to change the button to minus and just erase the, the selection. And after that, after we make the first shot, let's zoom out and just small collection right here. Okay, let's zoom out. And on the bottom of your screen, you have your uh, layer. And here's the, we are on the beginning. Here's the sign that we made the first rotor brush here and we have to go through that whole area frame by frame and as you can see when you're making the first selection the first uh, frame it smooths out the whole selection so small collection here if you forgot about fixing something you can always go back and fix it as you can see here's a little small guy around you can fix it here, take your time, if you spend more time here to make the proper mask, the result of your effect will be much, much better. And as you can see, the roto brush is making a pretty decent job because we don't have to make any correction. And yeah, just a little small one guy here, but it's just me, I'm really detailish guy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we don't have to make any much here something. No, it's good. Yeah, and just zooming in, zooming out to see if the selection is good. We have side of the car right here. We have some reflections on the side of the car, so we have to just make an edit and also. Okay, and we are finished. And next step is to go to the effect controls, select the rotor brush, and just press the decontaminate, decontaminate 
the conna dummy right <laughs> it's hard word in english for me polish guy <laughs> just select that checkbox and the next thing is reducing chatter i'm just mostly using the average from 20 to 30 percent just make it 25 for this one what this uh, uh, value is making is it is smoothing the whole um, selected area that little checkbox with the very super hard uh, word to spell for me deleting the colors on the edge of the cutted subject and when you click that little violet guy as you can see we have our car cut it from the background another important thing is when you are done with your roto brush freeze that mask enlarge the working area and press freeze little guy if you not make it the whole roto brush every time you go through your uh, footage through your shot it's recalculating the mask the effect and the edge and it is destroying the whole selection so we are freezing the selection right now okay so selection is freezed as you can see we have some brushes right here to hide it just press u on your keyboard and we are back in our timeline okay so we have selected our car command d or ctrl d to duplicate that layer go to the layer between the first layer and another layer also many guys are telling that you have to label your layers and i completely agree with that but sometimes i just forgot about it for the tutorial let's label our layer and let's make super crazy car distortion this is background and this is roto brush car okay and the magic super special effect for that car distortion is turbulent displays but before we go to the turbulent displays effect and before we go to that effect i have to tell you that you need to use fx console from the video copilot it's free plugin which speeds up your workflow i will uh, paste the link to that uh, plugin on the description of the video and just download it install it and just press ctrl space to reveal that little search bar where you can search for effects it's a uh, turbulent displays and just press enter and here we are having the effects in our layer normal after effects default way is to go to the effects search from turbulent displays and just double click or drag it to your layer but i'm lazy guy wants everything faster and i'm using fx console from video copilot download it and enjoy the super comfort of your work <laughs> yes okay so as you can see on our um, selected layer that we have something going on with our car and what that effect doing is just messing around with pixels and uh, we have some options turbulent bulk uh, twist and uh, depends on the effect you want to achieve just play around with the settings play around with the amount size and complexity of that effect mostly i'm using turbulent smoother and just go crazy with the amount and as you can see we have some crazy effect right here let's go with the our background layer on our composition press p to reveal the position and for now just drag it on top yeah it's looking uh, pretty nice give me some time i will play around with the effect and after that we will we'll go to the animation of that effect okay and uh, when you are happy with the effect just start with the evolution and as you can see when you drag the evolution the whole effect just looks like it's alive <laughs> and um, the only thing to make it animate you just make the animation of the evolution so let's reset that click stopwatch to make the keyframe press u to reveal the keyframes right here and just go and drag it to the end of the clip let's make the times one 
and times 1 is from 0 to 360 degrees. And move that keyframe on the end. Select the keyframes to ease the effect. Press the F9, let's play it. It's looking pretty nice, but I want to make some more adjustments. Yeah, maybe let's go crazy like this. Okay, and I'm happy with that. But I want to reveal that uh, that cloud after 10 frames, 15 frames. We're gonna animate it on the keyframes and to reveal, to animate on the position and also on the scale. To reveal the position property, just press the P, but to add the keyframe on the P, just press option and P. As you can see, the position of the keyframe is added. If I want to add the scale property, uh, the scale keyframe, I don't have to just press S and after that Alt S. You can just press the Alt S and after when you press Alt S, keyframe is added also. It's speeding your workflow. So we've added the first keyframes and let's make that uh, animation duration of 10 frames and just press Shift W or just Shift page up to go 10 frames forward and just press Option or Alt to add the keyframes on the scale and the position. Now let's go to the another shortcut. To move around the keyframes, just press J or K and just press J to go to the first keyframes. Let's hide it from the background. And as you can see, there is small, the hour splash is seen um, from, from the backside of the car. So that's why we have to scale down layer. You can just, to move around, you can just press on the composition on your layer and just go move around. And as you can see, our cloud is popping up like this, but it's linear and not organic as it should look organic. To make it more organic, just select the layers, press F9 to ease them. the animation and also go to the graph editor and press right uh, mouse button to edit the speed graph and animate the speed like this to speed up the animation and also same with the scale like this and let's see if it's if it's okay yeah it's okay sometimes you want to have the motion blur which blend with the motion blur of your footage and to add the motion blur just press three little dots press it and if it's blue that means it's the motion blur is enabled on in our composition and as you can see suddenly when we when we added this motion blur we see that the motion blur is added on our composition and let's see and just go yeah and this is looking very good i'm happy with that okay and after that let's animate the ending of the shot what we are gonna do is just copy these properties go 10 frames backward and add it right here and make the animation add on the end and another pro tip for you to move keyframes select the keyframes press alt or option and just press the right or left arrow depends on the direction and here you are the keyframes are moving yeah and see let's see how is the graph looking we have to make the graph also that spiky as it is on the beginning yeah spiky okay and uh, let's check it out let's pre-render it and yes it's looking good but i'm not happy with that this is going to the side of the mm, of the comp and i want to make it that it's go straight down let's correct it here and move it on the end and let's see yes or maybe also a little bit to the right let's go to the keyframe and when you have uh, selected the keyframe and your layer you can just go with the arrows 
on the right to make the make the animation as you can see there is something little dot here so let's see yeah it it cannot be seen but let's go and go to the 63 yeah this is overlapped and okay and i think we got it it's pretty under it there is something little small guy right here and we have to correct it and this is why this is happening yeah let's slow the animation of the scale and yeah that little guy is not visible anymore if you want to that uh, animation pops like the balloon let's duplicate that layer let's hide that layer when which we have already made animate the size of the of the turbulent displays press u to reveal all keyframes and leave the evolution because evolution gives us that little movement inside the effect but let's delete those keyframes and animate the size press u again to reveal the size mm, keyframe go 10 frames forward and just crank up to the maximum the amount of the size and as you can see it creates that little small copies of our car and that's making the car pops but also if you increase the complexity it's making little small cars that disappearing and increase this amount also let's go back with the complexity on the 1.4 and as you can see when you are when we have uh, animating the size it just pops out is is but it's uh, it's destroyed our effect on the beginning because we cranked up the amount also so you can animate the amount just press the stopwatch to add the keyframe at the keyframe uh, right here but let's go back to the amount that we liked at the beginning and it was like something like this and select those layers easy is and let's render it yeah and it pops out it's a uh, pretty rough if you want to spice up that effect just play with those uh, complexity uh, keyframes because when you add the complexity it's uh, more complex and let's, let's add it like so and as you can see it just popping out like the balloon and also animate the transparency press option t for transparency keyframe edit make it to the zero easy is moves move those keyframes at the end of the clip or just one frame before and let's see Boom. yes it's looking good this is how uh, the cloud can pop out and you can just uh, hide it and make the crazy car distortion at the back of the car and just hide behind the car and pops out like a small little balloon okay so that's all for the tutorial yeah just enjoy the final video san francisco where's your disco and how was it was it good if it was good leave a like button comment Tell me which part of the video that you liked most. Maybe you have some idea for the next tutorial or some video. Subscribe my channel. Show me that you like my style, like my videos. And thank you for your attention that you end up to the end of the video. And also remember, follow me on my Instagram. I'm posting stories about some sneak peeks on the next edits. And I'm also posting at least one real weekly. Sometimes it's more than that. Thank you for your attention and see you on the next video. Bye bye.